What's up guys, Matt here for a product review of a pretty cool budget light that you might not know about. This is the newer RGB61 LED light. Let's get started. The illumination apparently is 800 lux, according to the box. Um, it's got color rendering index CRI97+, whatever that is. And the color temperature range is 2500K to 8500K, which is a pretty good stretch if you're trying to get the most out of a certain light, whether you're into cinematography, videography, just wanting to have a cool light because you need it. I don't know. Even just having a portable light so you could take it with you on the go if you need to light up a certain place that's really, really dark. And it's perfect if you're a ghost hunter. So uh, yeah, let's get into the features. We have uh, pretty much the light itself. Let me turn it off. God knows I don't want to blind you. And you can also take off the soft cover, which is pretty cool. Make it more prominent, I guess. Uh, on the back here, you got four buttons, your power, your adjusters, and your mode switch. It has, I think it's 20 different modes, which we will go over them later on in the video. Uh, also has the Type-C charger, which is always a plus. And it has three separate cold shoe mounts surrounding the perimeter of the body so you could put you know other mics other lights if you would need to broaden your area and then of course the cold shoe mount right here which is perfect for any type of camera or device that you have that has a cold shoe mount on it i've used this a few times i've done a couple videos and i will say the light is very very bright uh, you could dim it down as much as you want to. I'm going to go ahead and change the camera angle up so we can get started on reviewing this product. And if you guys do find this product interesting, I will leave a affiliate link in the description. You can go on Amazon and get it. I believe last time I checked, it's around $30. If you're in the need for a light, this is definitely the one for you. I highly recommend this. I've, like I said, I've used it on multiple occasions. The battery life on this lasts really long. I'd say about Continuous usage, it depends on what percentage you would leave it off for brightness, but let's say 50%, it'll run about four or five hours. So yeah, pretty efficient, like I said. Okay guys, so you got the back of the device right here. Got your uh, percentage up top and you can adjust the brightness with the left and right sliders. Not sure if you could really tell the difference on that, but there it is, shiny shine. I figured I'd do a first voiceover on this first product review video, hope you don't mind. Taking up the percentage to 100. Yeah, light's still on. And the soft cover, the diffuser on the front, it's really good. And so with the mode button, you could click it and it'll change to a different mode right here. We're selecting a different hue of the light. The higher you go, I guess the more cooler it gets. And it cycles through all the classic RGB lighting modes. I'm not sure if that's just the softness of it or what, because it does change the actual color. Not too sure on that. But anyway, so you got your uh, other modes right here. It's on a fast changing RGB cycle. And then right here, if you select with the adjuster buttons, first mode is a cop car. Probably scare somebody with that one. You got the ambulance. Fire. Lightning. That one is fireworks. TV. Like if you leave it on all night like I do. My girl gets mad. Candle. And we got the party going. Might not want to have that one on if your parents aren't home. 
salty bold nice and again if you do any type of videography or uh, cinematography these different effects will definitely benefit you strobe well and rgb strobe emergency hl beam high low i, I guess you got your red flash your green flash your blue flash you're slow and fast And uh, if you go back, the regular one it'll take you to is the uh, temperature adjuster. And like I said, it goes from 2500K to 8500K. And that's pretty much from left to right, the temperature change. Alrighty guys, that is the light in a nutshell. Let's switch it on back to the regular lights on the camera and I'll show you what it looks All right guys, so this is me with the light completely off. There is no artificial lighting whatsoever illuminating the room. And I'm gonna switch over and show you what it's like with the light on 25%. So this is 25% and it's on 3000 Kelvin. I believe that's the right way to say it. <laughs> And this is about 50% on 3000 Kelvin as well. And this is 100 on 3000. <laughs> this is 100 on 6000K. Uh, notice how much whiter the whites are. My face is looking absolutely red because I just got out of the shower. And I'm that kind of guy that my face gets red. So what are you going to do? <laughs> and this is 8500K on 100%. 8500K is the brightest amount that this light can get to and that's 50 percent on 8500k let me know in the comments if you guys see a difference or not so like i said guys that was the newer rgb61 if you guys are in the market for a portable lighting device and need one fast need one cheap but also efficient i would definitely recommend this one it's got so many different modes to choose from the versatility of this light i feel like is unmatched in a lot of the same marketplace that you could find this light in um, there are a lot of other models out there, but when it comes to dependability, this one's bar none, man. That's all I could recommend to you. So like I said, if you would look down in the description, you can find an affiliate link to this light. Um, I, of course, if you do purchase it, I get a little kickback. You know how it is to support a channel and a life. But yeah, that's going to do it here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please stay on the lookout for more product reviews, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you.